Welcome to the highly sarcastic guide on how to change your NFL fan. Are you tired? Yes, you. Are you tired of cheering for the same team year after year after year? Do you want to experience the thrill of betraying your team and jumping ship or jumping onto the bandwagon of a new one? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Well, you're in luck. Today, we'll show you just how easy it is to change your NFL allegiance. Step one, the art of betrayal. Where have you heard that before? Don't answer that, not a real question. First things first, let's talk about betrayal. Yeah, the knife in the back kind of betrayal, but not a real knife, a make-believe one. You can't just change your fandom without a little treachery. Begin with publicly denouncing your current team on social media. If you don't have one, create one. Make sure to criticize their every move, their players, even the mascot, and if they don't have one, you create one. Remember, it's not enough to simply switch teams. You have to make your own team feel the sting of your betrayal. Real talk. Step two, picking a new team. Now that you successfully burned bridges or napalm them of your old team, it's time to choose a new one. Don't worry, this decision should be based on the most superficial reasons possible. Maybe you like the colors, or perhaps you're a fan or fanatic of the star player. Hairdo, that is. Whatever the reason, however far-fetched or crazy it is, make sure it has nothing to do with loyalty or genuine passion for the game. Step three, once again, learning the lingo. Next time, next, next time, is to brush up on your new team's lingo. Memorize their chants, slogans, and even their fight song, and don't forget to incorporate them in every single conversation, even if it doesn't make sense, because nothing says a true fanatic, true fanatic, like mindlessly repeating catchy phrases you barely understand. Step four, the art of bandwagoning. Ha ha ha, yeah, the art of bandwagoning. This is where you need to truly excel at being a fair weather fanatic. Jump on the new team success train, choo, choo, and act like you've been there but from the beginning and maybe possibly been there before in a different realm, in a different parallel universe, that is. Suddenly you're an expert on the history, their legendary players, and their championship wins. You even got your championship dance moves now. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter, really. If you couldn't name a single player on the team last season, who can? Now you're their biggest, and brightest and bestest fan. Step three, faking fan. Now that you master the basics, it's time to fake your new fandom. Attending games, wearing the team's merchandise from head to toe, even if you can't name the current quarterback, make sure to post countless pictures on social media showing off your new team's gear. And if that's the only proof that you need, it's the only proof that you need for your newfound loyalty that everyone or no one's gonna question you on. Step six, dealing with the haters. Pay attention. You are really going to need this information right here. Last. Let's talk about dealing with the haters. Because let's face it, switching teams isn't exactly seen as an admirable trait when confronted by your old team's fanatics or true, yeah, true football enthusiasts simply brush them off with a sarcastic comment. After all, who needs genuine sportsmanship when you can just be a snarky know-it-all. You can use me as an example, FYI. Step seven, the final revolution or revelation. 
You pick and you choose. I'm just a storyteller. I'm just a helper for the helper. And there you have it. You've successfully changed your NFL fan without any real loyalty or passion for the game. Congratulations. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the fleeting satisfaction of being a fair weather fanatic until the next bandwagon comes rolling in. Remember, remember, this video is purely, purely for the brave. Real fandom is built on loyalty. Real fandom is built on passion. Real fandom is built on a genuine love for the game. So if you are truly, truly, truly looking to change your NFL allegiance or alliance, make sure you take a moment to reflect on what being a fanatic truly means to you. And hey, if you still want to switch teams, at least do it with a little bit more certain. Good luck or not with your newfound fandom.